For a long time, it was the retro sneakers yeah. that were making a comeback, the Stan Smiths and the originals. Is that still what's driving your, your growth? No, we also see a lot of uh, pop inspired you know, uh, uh, footwear like the products. We have the Yeezy products from Kanye West. We see 3D printed shoes. And we see probably one of the hottest trends is our sustainability shoe made of ocean plastic. So we sell a shoe called Pale Shoe, which is made out of 11 plastic bottles. And that is a huge hit with consumers. Yeah, consumers looking for that sustainability push. Yeah, and that is we're bringing it from the shoe into the apparel, into swimwear. So that is a you know, trend that we'll continue to see moving forward. I'm glad you brought up Kanye West. You know I was going to go there. So the news today is that he's going to go to the White House on Thursday and have lunch with President Trump. Is that good or bad for business? You know, when you, you know, uh, work with a creator like you know, Kanye Trump, you know, Kanye, uh, you know, <laughs> Kanye West, you don't, get the, you don't get mainstream. And we've been extremely happy with our relationship with Kanye West. I'm meeting him Wednesday night for dinner. You know, he's been a fantastic ambassador for the company, and he still will be, irrespective of whom he So you're with. having dinner with him before his lunch I don't with Trump. even know whether he's going to Trump, but I'm having dinner with him Wednesday night, and I've been very happy with our relationship. You mentioned that Yeezy was still doing well for you, but some in the sneaker world are wondering whether it's peaked, whether, whether we've seen the hottest yeah. part of, of the Yeezys, because now they're much more widely available. Yes, but we're only speaking about the 350 model. You know, we have a very wide, you know, wide set of new products coming out next year. So we think that what we bring to, uh, to the market next year along with Kanye West is going to be really hot on the street. But is it going to be this more democratic, easy, where no, everyone see, but, can get no, it? No, no, not at all. We'll still be very uh, scarce on certain models. But in some of the older models, we will bring more volume into it. But if you look upon the innovation that we're bringing in, we're not going to bring that out in volume. So it's still going to be hard, hard to get a very new uh, Yeezy shoe for, from Adidas. A lot of people are... are chattering about the basketball shoe that Kanye West has been teasing. What can you tell us about that? Pretty much what you've been teasing that you know, we have a we think we got a hot shoe coming out according to what's on on social media, but you have to wait and see. Are non-athletes still driving the biggest buzz and revenue right now? They're probably like Kanye? Pri Kanye is driving a lot of buzz, but 3D print is also, Pali is also, Pharrell is, and then we just had the biggest sporting event in the world, the World Championship in Russia where we sold more than 8 million jerseys. So sport is still a huge part of what we do, or it is the biggest part. It's two-thirds of our business. What did you think of the Colin Kaepernick ad from Nike, making him the face of the new Just Do It campaign? I think uniting people is immensely important. I think it was a good move they made. We have a different view, but we think it was a good view they had. We think that the more we unite, you know, people through sport, the better it is. We need a united society and not a separated society. But it, was, it wasn't, I mean, a lot of people were upset about it. It was pretty controversial. Is it something that you guys would have done? I can't say that we would have done it, but I think it's important to have a point of view, and we have a point of view in many things our competitors have, and uh, I think it's good to have a point of view. If we look forward, you know, the, the sneaker wars, the story in the stock market is a lot of them have been very strong. Look at Lululemon, who's, not, who's in the apparel yeah. market, obviously. But how should we think about it over the next year of whether where we are in this cycle of athleisure. Everyone thought that it had peaked and it was dying, and then it came roaring back. I don't think it's peaked, and I don't think it's peaked for a long time, because the trend towards much more comfortable wear, athleisure wear, even on even here, will come the fight against obesity. So there's no doubt that sporting goods will continue to grow and outgrow the overall economy. That's our perception. Always good to check in with you. Great to see you. Especially in person. Casper Rorstedt, thank you very much.